Good day, Rich Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I'm going to review a slide that I uh, reference when I'm on the job or in class or uh, just basically all the time. It's just a basic routing diagram that lets you understand and appreciate it really depends on the type of network, the type of equipment, and the direction of the flow uh, that will impact what you see uh, as you move through the network. So let's just get right to it. So here's our laptop, and he's going to send a command to the server. And this command is open file. So the little uh, Sherlock Holmes guys, these are our tools. So these could be uh, Wireshark, Sniffer, it doesn't matter. Protocol analyzer, any kind of tool, uh, doesn't matter. Here we got a hub, which is a layer one device on the OSI model. We've got ourselves two routers, which are layer three, and a layer two switch. A little bit of everything. So we've got an IP address and a MAC address. So as this packet moves down through the hub, this analyzer would see it because obviously it's a hub. So the hub would let you see everything. You don't need a tap or to mirror or do anything like that. Just by nature, the hub will let you see everything. That's why in some cases uh, we hub out, which is using a hub as a poor man's tap or as a half duplex tap. So nevertheless, we would see that IP and that MAC address over here. And that's basically what that is. So there's the IP over here, dot one one one, and the MAC address four five six. So as that packet goes into the router, he has an IP and a MAC address, and it comes out of the router, and there's the IP and the MAC address. So as that packet exits the router, the router will put its MAC address in place of the laptop. So it's kind of like giving your mail to the mailroom guy. It's addressed to somebody else, but physically, you've given it to the mailroom guy. And that's what this is about. So there's our router. And we can see that the IP address is not changed, whereas this router's MAC address is now in its place. So that's because the packet is moving this direction. If the packet was moving back towards this direction to the laptop, then obviously this MAC address would be this router. So it's kind of important. If you have a filter down here, a MAC filter, you don't filter on this laptop, you don't filter on that switch, and you don't filter on these outward facing ports. You face use these ones over here. Okay, So there we go. So as we move through the router, it pops out of here, boink, and again this router has an IP and it has a MAC address. So if we had an analyzer over here on this switch, which now we're dealing with a switch, so we will not see the data uh, or the packets by default, we'll have to use uh, a tap or mirror or span or some other way of intercepting that data. So by nature we won't see that. Um, so now we put that in place, whatever that happens to be. Let's assume it's a mirror command. And now I should see the MAC address of this router, which is WVU. I know I've made up funky little letters here. It's just the way I'd like to do it. But the IP will still be the laptop. So let's see what we got. And again, the IP is the laptop, but the MAC address is this router's port. Okay. And again, we would see the opposite on the way back. So again, just a little overview of a, a pretty basic network, but it makes you understand a little bit about protocol analysis and the way the packets are being changed. If there was a, a, a NAT box there, then that would change even more stuff around and so on and so on. So I hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.